doing today. I really wanted to do the palette recommendations tag just because I love makeup palettes. I'm such an addict. They're like my favorite thing to buy like makeup wise and they have been for a really long time so this tag obviously just spoke to me. The thing is though that even though the categories in this tag are very helpful and there are some that I really like but I feel like overall they're just a little bit boring. So I am going to be doing the original video for you guys just because like I said I think that it can be helpful. But um, I'm going to make this a two part video thing so I'm going to upload both videos at the same exact time and I will have it linked down below of where I'm going to do like my version of this tag like palette recommendations tag number two or palette recommendations tag with a twist. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it exactly but there are just like a little bit more fun categories in my humble opinion. I think that both videos can be helpful depending on what you want and what you like but um, if you guys are interested then I will leave that linked down below. So the first category is a palette that you would recommend to beginners and I'm definitely going to go ahead and say the Morphe palettes and you guys you can find whatever color scheme you want and there's like fall ones, there's shimmery ones, there's matte ones, there's like oranges, there's taupes, there's all different types of palettes you can get. I mean I'm just so basic over here with the 35-0 that everyone has but the reason why I recommend this to beginners is because it is a lower price tag. It's about $20. I don't feel like the quality is like crazy amazing like you get what you pay for and I think that you can definitely get the same quality from like other like um, brands that come in like the same type of, type of packaging but I would recommend Morphe over them just because so many people use Morphe that if you're a beginner and you're learning how to do makeup like you will have no problem finding an abundance of tutorials for Morphe palettes. So that's why I would recommend Morphe as a beginner. So the next category is a drugstore palette and I would have to say the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1. It just looks like this and I know that there were some mixed reviews on it but I personally thought it was really really good. Um, I think that the shimmery shades do leave a little something to be desired if you like a really really metallic look to your lids or to your highlight or whatever then the shimmery shades might not give you everything that you're hoping for but the matte shades are so smooth and blendable and pigmented and creamy and I just really really love the matte shades. I would recommend pairing these two palettes together. So this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I see a lot of people recommending this but I wouldn't recommend it on its own because it is all shimmers and just me personally I can't, I don't know, I, I don't do all shimmery eye looks. However, if you use this in a conjunction with the other one and you have all those nice matte brown shades and then you have like a nice highlight, you've got some different lid shades, you've got you know, a cool duochrome, you've got some darker smoky shades. So if you don't have access to like palettes online or like online shopping and you're literally only just whatever you can get at the drugstore, whatever you can go to Walmart and pick up, then I would definitely recommend picking these two things up together and you can get some pretty eye looks from it. The next category is something I would recommend for worker school and I mean school depends on you because I think that you can definitely wear whatever you want to to most schools unless you like have like some type of dress code or something to where you can't wear like the makeup that you want to which if that's the case I feel so sorry for you um, but for work specifically I would definitely recommend this little Lorac matte palette it has eight shades it has two different brow bone shades one's a little bit lighter and more highly it has different transition colors you could just put these two shades right here onto your outer V and that would be like enough to deepen it but not really be dramatic. But then if you wanted to go a little bit darker or you wanted to use one of these shades as liner, you have a dark matte brown option and you have a dark matte black option. I am running out of breath so bad you guys. I just think that this is a really classic, really easy palette and if you're, you know, just getting ready for work real quick, you're not really like taking your time, you know, and doing whatever you want and being creative. I feel like this is a palette you can just like dip into real quick and get a quick look and not have to think about it or anything like that. 
The next category is natural colors. So I'm going to go ahead and say Carly Bible um, BH Cosmetics palette. This is kind of neutral, but I feel like for someone who is getting more into makeup and who wants like the natural color, you do have like these different like kind of mauve purple shades and purple is one of the easiest colors to pull off. And then you've also got like these really pretty like bronzy like coppery shades, which I mean they are neutral, but in some ways like when you're wearing like a really bright orangey gold on your lid, it is kind of like a pop of color. So I think that the quality is really, really great in this palette. The price is great. And then, you know, if you're just trying to experiment a little bit um, and you're just dipping your toes into the little world of crazy eye makeup, then I think something like some mauve shades and some orangey shades will get you going. The next palette is Bang For Your Buck. And I feel like no one talks about this palette ever, but this is the Reveal 2 palette by Coastal Scents. So here's what it looks like, and I believe it is $20, but you can find it on sale, even cheaper. And it has, what is this, like, I think like 20 shades. So I think that this is a really, really great bang for your buck type of palette because there's so many different shimmers, there's so many different mattes. I feel like it's really, really pigmented, and every time I use this palette, I'm so impressed with it. I just think that it's really, really great and fun and as opposed to like the Naked palette or like the La Roque Unzipped or I don't know there's a lot of palettes out now that kind of have like this mauve burgundy pinky rosy color scheme going on and this one is just one of the cheapest out there so this next category is best palette for your skin tone and to be quite honest I don't even see the point of this um, I don't allow myself to be held back in my like makeup like expression based on my skin tone or my eye color or my hair color. I remember growing up I always got like, oh you're, you have, you're a redhead, you're so fair, you shouldn't wear black and you shouldn't wear black eyeliner and you should wear brown mascara and you should wear brown eyeshadow and brown eyeliner. And I just think it's kind of really, really annoying, and I don't base my... I feel like eyeshadow is one of those things, like, even if you're super cool-toned or super warm-toned, you can get away with wearing any colored eyeshadow that you want to, as long as you're, you know, wearing it with confidence and it makes you feel good, then... I don't know, like, I don't have a single palette that I'm like, I love this because of my skin tone, so... I can understand eye color, which is the next one, because there are certain colors that will bring out your eye color more, but like whether you're warm or cool or olive, like, I don't know. You guys should leave in the comments down below if you feel like it makes a difference for you, because personally, I wouldn't let, I wouldn't let it affect my decisions. So, okay, so best for my eye color, and I would recommend this for any eye color, but specifically, it's kind of hard to see on camera right now just because I'm like far away and I don't really have like the light shining directly into my eyes. But I kind of have like a bluish green undertone to my eyes. Like if you see them really, really close up, I have like the different streaks of blue and green. So if I want to bring out the blue in my eyes more, then I kind of go more towards like the orangey side of the warm spectrum. And if I want to bring out the greens in my eyes more, then I go more towards the pinky, like burgundy side of the warm spectrum. Either way, I just feel like warm is the most flattering for my eye color. But from the Modern Renaissance palette, I get both of those. Like I have like the really warm orangey type shades and then I also have like the pinky burgundy shades. So I feel like no matter what I want to do, if I want to bring out the green, if I want to bring out the blue, this is definitely my like go-to palette. So the next category is best all-in-one palette. And for this, I feel like this is a little bit like corny to say, but I just think that the best all-in-one palette you could ever possibly have is one that you make yourself. I just have the Makeup Forever one here to show you. It's $14 and it's huge. It holds 45 shadows and you could definitely make it your own with the shadows that you put in there. 
but you could have like a little section of shadows you could have a contour like pan you could have like a banana powder or like a whatever your setting powder is you could have a couple blushes you could have like a highlighter pan and that is like that's what's going to give you your most ideal palette is just making it yourself so this next category i feel like has to be everyone everyone on youtube's favorite category because this is best for travel and you guys i always laugh because i feel like every single review on palettes people mention whether something is good for travel or not like oh this doesn't have a mirror it's not good for travel or oh i have to pull in this extra thing it's not good for travel or like how much are you guys traveling like do you go somewhere like every weekend like how, how do you not use your makeup when you're just at home <laughs> like um <laughs> i don't travel that much so I don't know, I think it's funny how like it's always included in every single review, like whether a palette is travel worthy or not, and I'm like, well, like, every single palette I own doesn't have to be travel worthy. However, I feel like this one is really great for travel, and this is the Rock Mega Pro 3. So the reason why I think it would be really good for travel is that it has a really good, big, nice size mirror, and then also, like, if you're like me, um, when you travel, it's hard to bring just one palette because I like to do something different with my eyes every day. I don't like to recreate the same looks. I like to have like a variety of shadows to work with. That just makes the like process of doing my makeup so much more enjoyable. So a palette like this, like even if you're traveling and you're going to be gone for like two weeks or a month or something like that, like you have so many shadows to choose from. You've got different undertones. You've got rosy. You've got warm. You could play with some cool. Um, you've got all the mattes you could possibly need. You've got all the shimmers. You've got brow bone shades, highlight shades, deepening liner shades, like whatever you need you have right here. So so the last category is a palette that I wouldn't recommend and I believe the, the official name of this is the Laura Mercier eye artist palette if i'm wrong all the palettes that i'm talking about now will be in the description box but this is the only palette that i've ever returned in my entire life i don't have it with me here because obviously returned it why would i keep something that i don't recommend um it's just kind of like a pricey little number i think it's almost 60 dollars and i just feel like it's not that special and i feel like every single look you get is like the same and like I don't know, I just like felt like something was like lacking from that palette. It wasn't giving me everything that I desired. I definitely wouldn't recommend that one if you guys are going into Sephora. I mean, I think it looks beautiful. It has beautiful packaging. It looks like a, just a nice classic palette, but there's just something about it like it just didn't do it for me. I, I don't know. I couldn't recommend it to you guys. So that is all the categories for the original tag. If you want to see my version, then I will have it linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.